What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about intercoolers and be installing a new one on the Sonic. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, why it's a good thing to upgrade that uh, and the different kinds of intercoolers are out there. And then we'll kind of show the install and then answer the question, is it worth it? Let's get right into it. So let me show you the new intercooler that we got. <sighs> This is our new intercooler. It's from ZZP Performance. Uh, they do pretty much all the different mods for the Sonic. So uh, we like them. So we went ahead and got their intercooler. It's good welds. Um, looks like pretty good build quality. We'll see how it uh, holds up. But that's what we're gonna be installing today. And there's two different kinds of intercoolers you can get. There's an air to air intercooler, and then there's a liquid intercooler. Uh, the air to air actually just pushes air through the intercooler uh, after it goes into the, gets pulled into the turbo, goes through the intercooler, and then into the engine. And basically the advantages of that is that you can have nice cool air uh, going into your engine because it gets all heated up by the turbo. Uh, so an air to air setup, which is what the Sonic has, um, basically just uses air to cool down the air. The other option is to actually use uh, coolant and that will also uh, cool it down. Those systems are a bit more complex though, uh, so luckily the air to airs on here shouldn't be too hard of an install. Uh, the advantages of actually upgrading your intercooler is if you have uh, a bigger intercooler then you're going to be able to uh, you know, push more air through it and it'll also have better uh, cooling down capacity and just be able to cool the air faster and you'll be able to do back-to-back -back runs without it uh, heat soaking. So that is the advantages of doing it. It's definitely uh, something you should do if you're going to be taking your car to the track or ripping it around on the roads. So yeah, that is why you would want to upgrade your intercooler. Uh, I think doing it for the Sonic will definitely make it drive better and it should not heat soak because it definitely heat soaks currently. So I'm excited to put it on and to see how it feels and we'll answer the question, is it worth it? All right, uh, let's go install this thing. Alrighty guys, we got Brandon here now helping out. Hey and look at the difference between the intercoolers. The old one, obviously, you can tell which one that is. And the ZZP one. I mean, just a dramatic difference. We are gonna be staying nice and cool now. Alright guys, we just gotta take the charge pipes out and then we'll be good to install the new stuff. Sounds good, it's not rubbing anywhere. Um, overall, it's pretty easy installation so far. And now we just gotta put everything back together.
Alrighty guys, we got the intercooler on, we got everything back together and it was pretty pain free. It wasn't actually that bad of an install. Um, I will say with the ZZP, if you guys are actually installing this on a Sonic, you are going to have to trim uh, your headlight housing if you have the RS and possibly if you have the LTZ, you're probably gonna have to trim your headlight housing. We did have to because the charge pipe is in the way. But once we trim that, everything fit back up nicely and it looks pretty good. Um, I haven't driven it yet, so I don't know, I can't answer the question yet, but uh, if it's worth it. But it went good, it's a good install, not that hard. Um, and everything looks better too. Um, it has you know metal charge piping now uh, with the ZZP logo, so it definitely looks better too. And uh, shout out to Brandon for helping me again on a project. Um, goes a long way. Um, and I'll be able to help you with your van, which is something we might feature on the channel, his van build, his camper van. So, uh, and it's actually pretty cool. It's painted baby blue. Enough talking, let's go take this out for a drive and see how it feels. All right guys, we are in the Sonic testing out the intercooler. Uh, as you can kind of tell, it has been a couple days uh, actually since I've installed it. Uh, but so far everything's running good. Um, I did have to adjust uh, some of the charge pipes so they wouldn't be rubbering, uh, rubbing, rubbering. Actually I did use rubber. But uh, so they wouldn't rub, rub on the frame. Um, I just kind of added some padding in there and hasn't made a noise since, so I'd say that's a, that was a good fix. Overall, for the power gains, uh, it's pretty significant. I mean, so ZZP says that it's about a 10 horsepower increase, and I really don't think they're that far off. You know, I can't say for certain because I haven't, you know, I don't have like dyno data or anything like that but it is definitely a little bit peppier it seems I would also say it just doesn't heat soak um, which obviously is the whole point of getting a bigger intercooler setup well up here I think I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a pull cars pretty much warmed up and like I've definitely have gotten enough power now where know there is some torque steer like when I really get into it there's like some definite torque steer especially in second gear like second gear if I really am on it like I literally I feel like I just spin the tires in second gear which that's pretty impressive for a Chevy Sonic Here we go. Like that was a pretty light pull right there. And wow, this person is out in the road. Okay, anyway. But that was a pretty light pull right there. And it, the car just goes now, like it just goes. So if you are considering getting the intercooler for the Sonic, definitely would recommend it, um, especially if you're gonna be adding some other, um, you know, bolt-ons from ZZP or any other, uh, you know, there's other sites out there too. Um, or especially if you're gonna be going for a bigger turbo, which, you know, side note, I am gonna be eventually probably getting ZZP's uh, big wheel turbo upgrade, which is like an easy 50 to 60 horsepower increase. Oh, here we go. Get a little tunnel action. Anyway, well, yes. So, intercooler is worth it, worth the money. Uh, I did get it on Black Friday, so, you know, that makes it a little bit more worth it. But, good horsepower gains. Not too bad of an install, and you know, 
if you got a turbocharger set up and you're trying to make more horsepower, you got to be able to cool stuff down better. So yeah, definitely worth it. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and go install an intercooler in your car, even if it doesn't need one, because that would be interesting. But anyway, yep, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you later.